welcome back to the channel so first of all just simply log in with your credentials and once you're done with that just simply come back over here now just simply search for the api and here you can see api and services just open this thing new tab now again just simply search for the vm instance open this thing new tab now just simply come back over here and then click on this credentials wait for a second and then click on create and from here just simply choose the api key now it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile just simply come back over here wait for a second and then click on this ssh button now it will take a couple of seconds to establish a connection meanwhile in the description box of this video i will share one github link and just simply click on that link and then you are able to access this document now i request you please use the online notepad do not use your personal notepad now what we have to do we have to just simply define some value so as you can see we have to just simply export api key for that just simply come back over here and from here just simply copy this api key copy that and just simply paste between these two inverted comma like this way okay now i request you please define all the value correctly otherwise you will face a necessary error so what we need first of all task to file name for that just simply come back over here click on the task number two scroll down and from here you can see this name so just copy this name carefully do not copy that full stop okay just copy the name like this way come back over here and just simply paste over here like this okay now what we need task 3 request file for that just simply click on the task number 3 or just simply scroll down and from it you can see request name so just copy this name carefully like this way okay come back over here and just simply paste over here like this way now what we need response file for that again just simply scroll down and here you can see response.json so just copy this thing and one more thing guys you have to just only copy this yellow portion as you can see just copy like this way just copy like this come back over here and just simply paste on the task 3 response file like this now what we need task 4 sentence for that again just simply scroll down now i request you please pay attention as i said we have to only copy this yellow portion so just copy from here till here like this okay just copy like this come back over here and this is a task 4 sentence so just paste between this two inverted comma like this okay do not worry about this extra space you have to give extra space because as i said we have to only copy this yellow portion now again just copy this task 4 file name just copy that come back over here and as you can see task 4 file name just paste between these two inverted comma now again just simply come on the task number 5 copy this sentence carefully come back over here and paste now copy the task number 5 file name like this okay come back over here and just simply paste now i request you please paste all the credentials like this way and once you're done with this now just copy all this command all this command like this way come back over here click on this close click on this ssh button now just simply paste wait for a second and hit enter click on this unwanted pop-up And it's done now if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for both the tasks you will get a score without any issue just simply click over here here and here and here and if the score is not updated no need to worry just wait for one to two seconds and the score will update automatically and that's the way we have to complete this lab as you can see i got 100 out of 100 and i hope you guys like the way i saw this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys